Just take it to court. Just take it to court. How many times have you heard people say, just take it to court? Imbecile parrots. All of them. So here's a story by Matt Agarist. You killed my son. Cop kills unarmed boy in, in courtroom in front of his mother. No charges. Matt Agarist. What is this crap here? No. Get out of here. A cop killed an unarmed boy in front of his family in a courtroom and no, and a grand jury ruled that his use of deadly force was reasonable. There's the kid in the middle. On the left, there's a picture of uh, the backup police coming to get the, the witnesses out of there. And on the right, there's a picture of a cop kneeling over a dying kid. Franklin County, Ohio is the Free Thought Project reported at the beginning of the year in juvenile court. 16-year-old boy intervened after the police officer allegedly pushed his mother against the wall. So the police officer shot and killed him. Now it's just been announced that the officer who killed the unarmed boy was justified in doing so. Franklin County Grand Jury ruled that Deputy Richard Scarborough, who shot and killed the unarmed boy, was justified in his use of deadly force, reasonable under the law. The boy who was killed in January for allegedly intervening to help his mother fend off a cop was Joseph Haynes, and he was unarmed. As ABC6 reports, Karen Hayes says that as they were leaving the courtroom, she blocked the deputy with her arm and he pinned her to the wall. She says her son was coming to her defense when he grabbed the deputy by his shoulders. That's when Haynes says Scarborough grabbed Joseph, flipping him on to the ground and was on top of him when the shot was fired. Video of the aftermath was taken by Constance Goodell Newton. Good job for running a camera. If only it was earlier. <clears throat> Juvenile defense attorney for Franklin County, Ohio, who witnessed the lethal altercation and pulled out her camera to document it. In the video, we can see Haynes' mother hysterical after her son lay dying on the floor of the courtroom. Infuriatingly enough, instead of attempting to call for help or render aid to the boy, Bleeding out on the floor, police call him back up to remove Haynes' family. Oh my God, you killed my son, Haynes' mother screams in horror. At this point, officers then begin to forcibly remove the mother and the grandmother who are in obvious shock after witnessing Joseph's killing. When asked if there was surveillance footage of the shooting, Rick, Chief Rick Minard, Minard, Minard of the Sheriff's Office Investigative subdivision said that the video doesn't provide a view of the altercation. Well, can we see it anyway? That video is not as fruitful as we would have liked in terms of what it shows, Menard said at the time, and so we're hopeful there are other, there's other information out there. Apparently there was no other information and the grand jury has spoken. Here's the video. Has somebody called for a medic? Okay. <laughs> 
So, you know, just take it to court. Court, you know, courts are safe. Uh, this cop still has a job. This cop killed that kid who was unarmed in the courthouse for trying to defend his mother. Killed the kid for defending his own mother. Dude, I, it's disgusting. I mean, come on. Are we joking right now? This is what America has become. Cop kills an unarmed kid in the courtroom and gets and he gets off. And he's still working as a cop and he's going to get a pension and he's going to be considered a hero because he wears a costume. This is what America has become. The single shot which killed Haynes was fired, police say, in self-defense. In self-defense... But family members are disputing that claim. The boy's grandmother, Geraldine Haynes, said she witnessed the entire incident. In an interview with Columbus Dispatch, the grandmother recounted the incident. They had an altercation in the courtroom. The judge gave us another court date, and we were leaving. The cop told Karen, the boy's mother, to get out of the courthouse and wouldn't let her get her stuff or nothing. And then he, the cop, started going over and pushing her against the wall. That's when she says her grandson, Joseph, allegedly stepped in to defend his mother from the officer's manhandling. Joey told him to leave his mom alone, leave his mom alone. So Joey ran over there and grabbed a hold of the, his cop, his shoulder, the cop's shoulder. The cop let loose of Karen and slung Joey onto the ground and when he slung Joey onto the ground, he just quit fighting with the cop. All of a sudden, the cop reaches for his gun and shoots him. Grandmother went on to tell reporters she was mere inches away from her grandson when she saw him get shot and killed by the only man in the courtroom with a gun, the cop. She says she can still recall smelling the gunpowder and being in a state of shock. And I just said, you shot my grandson. You shot my grandson. When asked if Joseph attempted to reach for the officer's gun, grandmother emphatically, emphatically, when asked if Joseph attempted to reach for the officer's gun, the grandmother emphatically stated the boy had his hands raised in surrender position. No, he did not reach for the officer's gun, she said. She said she witnessed the entire incident and said police ushered them out of the courtroom and wouldn't let them be with their son or grandson as long as he lay dying on the floor. Tragically, first responders and emergency room personnel were unable to save the boy's life, who was shot once in the abdomen. Following the shooter, the, the Fraternal Order of Police issued a statement in support of their police officer. Executive Vice President Keith Farrell said, Whenever somebody attacks an officer even though an officer was attacking his mother. There's always a weapon involved. Always, because the officer is always armed. There's always a likelihood, the probability, that a person could get your weapon, incapacitate you with a non-lethal weapon, and get your sidearm. We're trained absolutely that you can't allow that to happen. And it was clear to me, and in my experiences, that he had a that he was attacked and this was a fight for his life at some point. It was a fight for his life. The, the armed cop was in, in a fight for his life against an unarmed kid. That's what the Fraternal Order of Police is telling you people. Please don't be that stupid. Please don't buy that propaganda. Not only was Farrell not present... But the only person giving an eyewitness account of the shooting, the boy's grandmother, stands by her version of events, which led to grandbaby's death. Various news reports have made it a point to mention Haynes' prior run-ins with the law, stating the teenager had already been charged with various crimes. But the fact remains, an unarmed boy was killed in a courtroom defending his mother from an armed man who was reportedly running a rough shot over her. No. Another video. 
happened? What happened? Well, they had an altercation in the courtroom, and the judge gave us another court date, and we was leaving, and the cop told Karen to get out of the courthouse. He wouldn't let her get her stuff or nothing. And then uh, he started going over and pushing her up against the wall and stuff, and uh, who Joey started, said... Who started pushing him? The cop started pushing Karen up against the wall. So Joey told him to leave his mom alone, leave my mom alone, and he wouldn't leave his mom alone. So Joey went over there and grabbed a hold of his, ran over there and grabbed a hold of his shoulder. And then the cop let loose Karen and he slung Joey onto the ground. And when he slung Joey onto the ground, Joey just quit. He just threw. And then uh, all of a sudden the cop what, what reaches for his gun Wait, and shoots Joey him. Joey didn't move? What no. Happened? Joey didn't move once he was on the ground. And you saw this happen? Yes, I seen it happen. I was standing right next to him. So what happened next? And all I know is the cop reached down to him, had his hand underneath his thing, and, and he shot him for no reason. The cop had his hand where? or On his gun. Where did Joey have his hands? Joey's hands were up like that. Okay. And we just left the courthouse. Then what happened? One one shot? How many shots? Just one shot. You could smell the gunpowder and everything. And I said, you shot my grandson, you shot my grandson. And then they told everybody to get back. And then they took us in the room, wouldn't let us see him or nothing. So you were there. You saw that his, your grandson's hands did not go toward that deputy's gun. No, no. How did far not. were you from the incident? They were right here, and I was right by his hand, uh, where his hands would have been if his hands was down, but his hands was up like that. Were you, like, from here to the car? I wasn't that far. I was, like, I was, like, right here next to him. Huh. So you, there that no, close. Was there anything obstructing your view? Nothing. There was nothing obstructing my view. I had a plain view of him. There you go. But the fraternal order of police, uh, you know, they, they said their guy did nothing wrong. So he gets to still be a cop and get his pension and retire and live off the taxpayers for the rest of his life. Isn't that nice? A jury of Americans let this cop off. Why? Why? All right, man. Thanks for watching. I love you. Another sad story. I'm sure a cream-filled donut use, is going to use this article as porn. All right. Peace, guys. Tranquility.